Hi everyone, this is Kevin from CXC Today, and as promised, I told you guys that I'll be doing a few questions on logic gates, and this is following from the video lecture that I did a few days ago on the introduction to logic gates. So this question is coming from May June 2010, Physics Paper 2, Question 3B Part 1. We're given a truth table and we're shown the inputs A and B and an output C. So the truth table is as follows. You have an input of 0 and an input of 0, you get an output of 1. If you have 0, 1, you get 1. 1, 0 also produces 1, but 1, 1 produces 0. Now, based on my knowledge of logic gates, I know that this particular gate is a NAND gate. Because it's the opposite of an AND gate. And in this particular gate, the output is low only when both of your inputs are high. So this is the general symbol here for a NAND gate. You have your inputs A and B and your output C. So this is a NAND gate. It's a pretty straightforward question worth only one mark. So we can move on to the next one. Now in the second part of this question, we are given a logical circuit made up of various gates and a partial truth table in which we are asked to co complete the missing portions. Now to answer this question, you have to first understand what gates are in this circuit. So from our diagram, we should know that this is an OR gate. This triangle one here is a NOT gate. And the last one here is an AND gate. Alright, so now that we know which gates, the easiest one to work with first is our NOT gate. The NOT gate simply changes whatever your input is to the opposite. So if your input is 0, you should get 1. If your input is 1, therefore you should get a 0. A 0 would produce a 1, and a 1 would then again produce a 0. So we finished the NOT gate section. Now we go to AB for OR. OR gate now is the one in which your output is high if either of your inputs are high. So if A is 0 and B is 0, your output for C will also be 0. If A is 0 and B is 1, since B is 1, your output will be 1 for C. If A is 1 and B is 0, your output will also be 1. And lastly, 1, 1 will also produce a 1. That is how the OR gate operates. So now you finish, work out these two gates. The last gate that you have to go through is your AND gate, which will give you your output for E. So if C is 0 and D is 1, going through the AND, you will get a zero. Remember the AND only produces an output that is high when both of your inputs are high. So zero one would give you zero, one zero would give you zero, one one should be the only one that gives you one, and one zero again should give you zero. Now this is a basic question worth eight marks. It wasn't too hard and it only required you to understand and remember what type of gates you're dealing with. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please feel free to like, share and comment and thank you for watching.